All right, what is up, you beautiful people, and welcome back to another uh, direct. Oh my god, I almost said I almost said Minecraft mod review, guys. Go check it out. I made a new Minecraft mod video. Anyways, uh, another another round of direct strike. Let's open up with some medics, actually. Um, let's see. What are our brawl modifiers? Brawl modifiers. Very obviously, we have a Dahaka. Um, I'm gonna do that and that. I probably should have gotten like um the consumer. We're joined here by Sprinkles. Ooh, Sprinkles is playing some Nova. Okay, so we got... Oh, we got reduced sight range. Okay, so like... Well, actually, Rainer doesn't care about that. I could just scan all day and be like... Let's go. Um, there we go. I was hoping that would happen. I think this is the optimal beam for the Igor, but it hits everybody. Damage reduction. Medic dodged it. Let's go. Yo, damage reduction is insane, dog. Oh my god. Whee! But yeah, like I literally just released a new Minecraft mod review because I'm like, yo, it's time to go all in on some on some good old Minecraft. I have no idea what my opponent is. Um, but yeah. I like spent a lot of time on that because I really want to lock in like good like 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 be a good mod reviewer. Um because I think I think I think it, it, it just makes sense for me. Um <clears throat> coming from uh you know all the tier lists and stuff, mod reviews just uh they just click boys. Anyways, we got a Wraith coming out here. Oh my god. Am I against... Oh, I'm against Han and Horner. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's level up then. Get the jug plating here. Double Gary? Lamau. R.I.P. Reapers. They died to the Igor. <clears throat> so young. Oh man. R.I.P. Reapers. There we go. We got our medic squad. Well, I only got two medics actually, so it's actually not that big of a medic squad, I'll be honest here. Uh, fire bats. Could be good. Well, not really. Not against buildings. I think they're still decent against Adepts. I don't know, but I don't think Adepts clump up hard enough. Anyways, there we go. <clears throat> but yeah, I think once I master the workflow for Minecraft mod reviews, I am literally going to be pumping out one every week, and that is going to be insane. Um, I don't know. I, I think I, I'm super excited because I think logically, my Minecraft like videos i don't know if you guys actually watch that i doubt it right because like my daily my direct strike is my daily stuff it's the daily bread boys the daily bread but like my mod reviews gain like a ton of views over time i think like four of them have at least over five thousand views i think two of them have like over ten thousand views and i'm like huh this is a formula boys let's cat let's let's get in on it let's lock in but anyways, um, Hunter Horner is a bunch of Reapers. That's not very locked in of him. Did all my medics die to Igor? Oh, my medics died to Igor. Hmm. Hmm. Han and Horner, eh? What if I just built Vikings? What if I just built Vikings and I scanned so I had, like, maximum vision range? So, like, I didn't care. Like, that sounds like a great idea. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna just mass Vikings here. Um, <laughs> Viking over here, Viking over here. I'm not even gonna bother with like banshees and stuff. Oh, what the heck? I knew the placement was a bit off. There we go. <clears throat> there we go. But yeah, oh my god, I have like. Oh, wave missile? The Phobos. Did I get the Phobos systems? Nah, not yet. Actually, no, I should. Phobos weapon systems is better than just advanced optics here. We got some grenade cars? Not the Nene -nay cars. They're gonna hit us with the Nene. -nay. Not the Nene -nay car. Oh well. Fire bats are tough enough. And they like counter each other. You know, they both deal bonus damage to each other. Fire bats just gotta pull up, you know? Um, yo guys, you wanna stay up there and hit Gary? Yeah, I'm just gonna mass Viking. I'm just gonna mass Viking. I'm against Hunter Horner. Like, what is he gonna do if I mass Viking? Go mass grenade car? Then I can just go mass banshee and then i think that'll settle it i think that'll settle it at least um but yeah oh my god I'm, I'm like actually so exhausted and i swear to god okay i have successfully eliminated all of the fruit flies like i have like smacked them all and like electrocuted them all with my like f my, my fruit fly zapper and gotta say that was pretty satisfying oh wait hold on my um unit distribution is off i am cooked it's like right here so it should be here and here so yeah my dahaka placement is cooked yikes why did i put dahaka like that why he built like that okay there we go like that but yeah like with the reduced vision range like i don't know 
I guess your detection, it, like, sucks, so because you can't see anything. But, um, <clears throat> as Rainer, detection has never been a problem because of the beautiful, beautiful thing known as orbital scan for 15 seconds, revealing the entire map. Should I just gas? I'm gassing, boys. I'm gassing. <clears throat> but yeah, I gotta say, like, I am, like, leaning into seeking discomfort, boys. I'm, like, moving out when I really shouldn't financially so that I can, like, apply a bit more pressure to myself to, like, actually try and succeed a bit more. Uh, or not succeed, but, like, like, like you know, make, make more dollars in the way that I said I wanted to make more dollars, which is, like, not by working a job. Which is, I think, why I'm, like, starting the Minecraft mod reviews, like, again. Like, I did them a while back, but, like, they were, like, low effort versions. Like, this version is, like, I, like, put in a ton of time to make sure the edits are just right and, like, everything, like, flows smoothly. Oh, my God, those Reapers getting butchered here. But yeah, because I gotta say, Direct Strike content has actually spoiled me because um, Direct Strike videos don't require a lot of editing. Like, I just throw the game on, and everybody's like, "Ooh, what's gonna happen?" And then, and then, and then you watch the game, and then, and then that's it. But yeah, like basically every other video out there is like, bro, if, if there's not like five thousand jump cuts in three seconds, actually, I can't do that kind of content. That's that's too like, that's too ADHD for me. Um, but yeah, like I, I I will never be. I don't think I, I don't say I, I don't think. <laughs> I can't say I will never be able to do that, but like I'm just like I got like the, the amount of maintenance that content takes is insane. But yeah, <clears throat> but yeah. So what I'm trying to say is you guys should check out the mod review and let me know what you guys think. Like, it, like you know, if it's good, it's the artifacts mod. Um, I don't even know if you guys care about Minecraft. I find that like um, most of you guys enjoy more sci-fi based games, uh, like you know if it's a strategy game or whatever. Because um, when I put when I post like stuff that's like a little bit more medieval esque. But it's still like strategy. I noticed that like people are like, eh, not that interested, and I'm like, interesting. But yeah. Anyways, I also found out that I I, I might have ADHD, um, through some uh, special medicinal means. That um, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> I will not elaborate any further. <laughs> um, but yeah, my weekend was great. I went to like a array with like um, like these friends that I met. Um, this one friend in particular as well. Um, but yeah, um, we had, we had fun. We like chilled. We had like a little, little debrief. We were just chilling after the raid. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, like, low-key, I'm, I'm like moving into a lifestyle that I actually like. And that's actually kind of crazy for me to think about that, like, I'm building this, like, right now, in this moment, and it's happening. And I'm like, what? Wait, who left the game? Wait, why did he leave the game? Enemy Rainer left the game? Oh, his Marines look so sad. They're like, huh? What do we do now? And then, like, they also have no AI, too, so, like, they just die. Uh-oh. <clears throat> mass Viking, baby. Yeah, I'm just gonna Mass Viking. Vikings are actually kind of like they're they're like decent on ground combat. You definitely don't want to rely on them, but uh, they they do some amount of damage. They can do damage. Damage is known to be done by them. But yeah, since everyone has a Gary, I think you just, you just gotta default like you just gotta have something. You gotta be able to fly, you know. Afterburners. Hmm. I don't actually know if I want movement speed increase on my units, but maybe I, I should because then it can dodge the Egorb faster. Uh, let's do that then. Oh, I'm against Phoenix's wave now. Well, actually, unfortunate for him, I have a ton of fire bats. Got the incinerator here, and like with all of these Vikings with like their eight range auto attack, um, they're gonna cook. Get cooked, boys. The feel when mass Viking actually just cooks. Mass Viking actually cooks, boys. <laughs> oh. To be fair, like any sort of anti-armor guy, like like some immortals would have definitely just smashed us, because like Vikings are so paper thin. Um, but like they, um, they were cooking. All right, the Hawk just level up. Look at that flame breath. Get that flame breath going. I should probably level my Vikings to like three three, and then they would actually be a menace. Uh, let's go there. <clears throat> let's get the next rank. This game is a. Uh, this game is already like concluded. Like at, at this point, I could just start pulling up some battle cruisers and like, you know, crushing it. 
Yeah, actually, yeah, I should just pull some battle cruisers. <clears throat> oh, actually, that's a bad idea. The Haka can eat him. Man, that's lean. Yeah, because Honda Horner air power kind of like is Pipiga, and like uh, especially versus Rainer, um, and especially after the nerfs. And then like Phoenix just has to fight me on the ground, otherwise he's cooked. Uh, yeah, so I think if I added some, uh, actually I don't know if I add Banshees because Banshees don't stay alive for long enough. But like Phoenix's wave just keeps getting split, and then like Sprinkles here has got his his Nova wave that is cooking, Marauder Commando. We got the Goliaths, perfect balance with some tanks. Hmm. Balance and no base, baby. Bomb, 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 bomb. But yeah. But yeah. <clears throat> oh my god. Oh my god. Let's go. Why doesn't Phoenix get like some immortals? Phoenix should just get some immortals. I don't know why Phoenix has no immortals. You know? Immortals would be very handy in this fight, considering I have Vikings that do baby damage. Like they do 14 damage. They got good stim though, but like the adepts are kicking their butts. Um, let's go. Get that scan on. Get that scan on. Get that max rank weapons. Show them what's up, baby. Ooh. And Demos Vikings, get out of here. Actually, Demos Vikings are beating me right now. Just because there's other fodder. Um. Oh well. Guess I just don't have enough Vikings, eh? Let's get some more, boys. Let's get some more. <clears throat> um, let's get that over here. More Vikings. More Vikings. Uh, intimidating roar. Reduce enemy armor. That's always key. Are these rates just... Oh man, these rates are cooking. Oh, okay, never mind. I got spotted. I was like, are these rates just like... Arming it up for free here. Am I Dahaka's just chilling? Enemy units have reduced armor. I'm gonna level up the HP of my guys here. You can just see Han and Horner's entire Viking wave just got cooked. Didn't stand a chance, dog. Watch not the Viking wave, but like his entire wave got cooked, and now now his Demon Vikings are gonna get cooked. And then Gary's gonna get cooked, and then my guys are gonna land, and then they're gonna get cooked because uh, they landed into melee versus some uh, zealots. Um, some legionaries actually um and they got fried oh well <clears throat> hmm hmm i don't really have a big ground presence maybe i should uh fix that <laughs> adds two more fire bats <laughs> two more fire bats mm, that'll do it we got them now boys sovereign bc sad sovereign bc is now dead i'm gonna get that fourth gas here let me get that fourth gas. Yeah, but this video is probably gonna come out pretty late because I was like, I, I like stayed up until 5 a.m. to finish my Minecraft video, and then like, I was like, okay, you know what? We'll just upload the direct strike video a little later. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, there's an immortal! Finally, he's only got one though. Um, well, he just got crushed by a bunch of Vikings. All of the depths just got smashed here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna pull up some battle cruisers, I think. Battle cruisers will be exactly what I need against Phoenix, because um, the depths are gonna do no damage to it. Um, my Vikings have like taunt, so they basically just brought the enemies to focus onto them, and with that taunt, they are super effective. Uh, let's move this here. There we go. Let's do that here. Yeah, let's do that. Oh my God, is that properly placed? No, I don't think so. Right? Like that's here. That's here. That's here, that's here, that no that was that was properly placed, okay. I'm cooked. <clears throat> but yeah. Ooh! Yamato! Hit him with Yamato's! Hey yo! Put them toes away. What are you doing? Um Is your Demos Viking getting splashed down? Boom! Oh, they're moving into range though. My battle cruiser's chilling. I could get another one. Oh, yeah, you can see your Demos Vikings don't stand a chance against Rainer Vikings. Like, as well. Oh, Battle Cruisers staying alive for this long is very key. I'm gonna get a second one here. It's not a call on the Battle Cruisers, man. The good thing about Battle Cruisers is, like, they actually stack. They actually stack, like, unironically, because of their short range and their ability to hit everything. Oh my god, is that a second Yamato? 
Bro, that battle cruiser cooked. He shot two Yamatos? Sheesh. You know what? It's time to do the thing where I put Vikings on the ground. And then they'll take up into the sky and act as a second wave of Vikings coming in. That's the beauty of Raynor, man. Like, you think you win the air battle against him? He just has more space for more Vikings. So he just, like, you know, outnumbers you. <laughs> it's like Phoenix is like, okay, I can mass scouts. And then it's like, well, my entire staging area is filled. And then Raynor's like, well, I still have the ground. Adds more Vikings. It's like, you're cooked, boys. This, okay, to be fair, though, if I don't scan, uh, Deimos Vikings have the advantage when they close in on me because they have more health and do more damage. Um, but if I have my scan up quite diligently, they don't really stand too much of a chance. I guess, hmm, Super Gary is also very helpful in protecting. Uh, let's see, should I buy another BC? I'm going to buy one more BC. And then we're just going to focus on the Viking grind again. Focus on the Viking grind, I got to focus on the scan. <clears throat> got to get the scan micro. The scan micro is, is like the most important part about playing Rain. It's why I scan all the time. <laughs> vision is power, baby. Especially when you have this much range. Vision is gas. Alright. This guy has a bunch of has a bunch of Vikings. Battle crews are gonna take a bunch of hits. And they're gonna come right back in here. I could probably get some more medics actually. I don't have no medics. Dog, why are you guys landing? There are enemies in the sky. Who gave you permission to land? There we go. And they're going to land right into those immortals. And they're going to get completely shredded. And uh, that's that. But you know what? It buys time for Sprinkles' wave to get his tanks all set up with extra range. And now he's going to blast them to bits. Got him, baby. G -g Got him. Should I just keep throwing out battle cruisers? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I should be. I'm going to get like a Hyperion here in the center. And then like that, that'll be it, okay? We'll call it there. 940 minerals. Damn. This game's going on for a little longer than I expected. I gotta see a client soon. That's a new client. New client, baby! Yeah, my clients haven't actually filled out as much as I expected it to, but, like, I'm still making, like... I'm still making a good amount of money for the kind of job that it is. Like, you know, that, like, I'm sourcing my own clients and stuff. So, honestly, I just can't panic, you know? You panic, you lose, boys. That's, that's the rule of, like... I don't know, I guess, being your own boss of entrepreneurship. Because I guess I'm, I'm like, fully locking in on that. I don't know. It, it's funny because, like, my, my teaching job is now, like, my backup. It's like, if, if everything falls through, I'll just be a full-time teacher again. Which is, like, actually, honestly, that is really blessed. I, like, I think I need to be grateful and recognize that, like, I can just have that as a backup. And I can, you know, still pursue what I want. Yeah, that's crazy. Now that I say that out loud, I'm like, damn. Talk to me. Damn, life is good. Despite everything we've gone through, boys, life is good. So, yeah. That's what I'm saying, guys. <clears throat> you have more blessings than you realize. Oh, man. All right, here we go, boys. What do we got? I got my, I got my five battle cruiser battle fleet. I'm going to come in here and, like, nail them. I keep the scans up so we got vision up and I think adepts just like hydralisk I think they lose to battle cruisers that's my theory and the theory looks quite correct because there's a very small number of adepts left on the battlefield and a very high number of battle cruisers in fact all of them are still alive yeah battle cruisers beat small dudes with guns you know what that's fair that's a fair assessment battle cruisers just the bigger dude with the big gun or bigger dude with the same size gun. <laughs> that's actually just what, that's actually just what the battle cruiser is. Just the bigger dude with the same size gun. He's like, I'm you, but I have like ten times your health. Congratulations, you're cooked. Um, there we go. I got myself this boy. He's not on the field yet though, but like he's coming in, incoming next wave. And then I can level up his um his deeps thing, DPS thing. There we go. Can you guys, like, uh, deal with the Immortals? Ooh, actually, the amount of Vikings I have are actually cooking these Immortals. That is sick. I'm going to keep the scan up here so I can see. The only advantage Han and Horn has on me is, like, you know, 
the brawl modifier, which reduces everyone's vision range, but if I scan, he loses that as well, and battle creatures give me vision as well, so... Oh my god. It is cooked. We are cooking, boys. We're cooking with coals. Got that delicious charcoal barbecue, baby. I actually kind of just want to, like, grill some steaks on my barbecue now. Like, just for fun. Like, you know, for my instead of my normal meal prep, I just, like, pull up the barbecue and just start grilling my own steaks on there. I'm actually kind of curious what that would taste like. Like, you season it properly still. I guess you can't baste it, though. No, Hyperion's not going to get to see any action. Oh. Happens every time, guys. <laughs> every time I get Hyperion, he's like, hey, 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 don't wait up for me, guys. And then it's like, uh, guys, it's like game's over. Ah, she didn't do that much damage. Mm. Sprinkles actually did tons of damage with his uh, tank. Tank Liberator. This is basically a, a good old DFG comp with some Marauders uh, and Liberator sprinkled in. That's fair. Oh, I killed. We killed around the same amount of things, though. That makes sense. And our Hunt and Horner here. Actually, still kind of keeping up, so that's pretty good. And there we have it. If you guys enjoyed this game, be sure to leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. In the rear with the gear. F the tires. Let's light some fires. Need a light.